Hi guys, I'm back with another episode of the most controversial quotes on the Motorsport Fans app. Before we begin, I want to let you guys know about all the exclusive content from Autosport International coming to the app over the next few days. We put your questions to Johnny Herbert, Karen Chandock, Seb Ogier and more at ASI. Questions like, did Damon Hill crash into Schumacher to let you win? What advice would you give to an aspiring driver? And what lap times can I expect if I change my name to Sebastian? So download the app and watch this space for those exclusive chats. And while you're waiting, check out some of the conversations the fans have been having this week. First up is the F1 Debrief's 2018-19 F1 Silly Season Rankings. The F1 Debrief rounded out its three-part review with a look at the crazy silly season that shook everything up after Daniel Ricciardo announced his move to Renault. Van Dorn's case serves as an example to the grid. Driver academies do not always produce quality talent despite the driver's success in lower categories. I remember when Van Dorn was being tipped for the grid a few years ago. He was really the best thing since sliced bread. Kevin who? And looking back at the stats, it definitely seems like he deserved that. But is it right to say he didn't carry that talent over into F1? He probably didn't get the results everyone was expecting, but... He was in a McLaren, a McLaren that even Fernando Alonso struggled to get good results out of. I don't think this does Van Dorn justice, and I know a lot of fans will agree, but what do you think? Let us know in the poll up above and in the app. Next up is PS ISO's piece, Will Formula E Overtake F1? Many say F1 is better because of faster cars, but Formula E seems to have the edge when it comes to close racing and unpredictable races. Whether you prefer F1 or FE, the topic of which is better tends to get people animated. A lot of people like to compare Formula E and Formula 1, but they're actually pretty different. Different driving styles and different style of racing mean it's probably impossible to calculate which is better. To answer PSI So's question, I don't think so, but what about you? And finally, BLM Hoff Racing gets the predictions started in their F1 2019 predictions. Renault will be better than Red Bull on the track. There were a few comments in the predictions that made me raise my eyebrows, but this was one of the most surprising. Red Bull were in a different league to Renault this year, and it seems like it will be a few years before they'll be level. It's quite a bold prediction, but not impossible. Renault have a good pairing in Ricardo and Hulkenberg, and could be the surprise of the season. That's all we've got time for today. Head to the Motorsport Fans app to get involved in conversations on anything and everything Motorsport related. And we'll meet you back here next week for more controversial quotes.